together, we are gonna go on a battle <laughs> together. I cannot wait to get started. All you have to do is follow and dance along to the moves that I do. Now, we always start in the same way, and that is by shaking out our sillies so that we're ready and focused to dance. On the count of three, one, two, three. We shake it up high, we shake it down low. We shake it to the side, we shake it to the outside. And we make ourselves as big as we can, and as small as we can, and as big as we can, and as small as we can. We slowly up, three, up, three, up, three, up. Ah, I don't know about you, but I feel so much better and I'm ready to dance. Oh, yeah. All right, so I have a pretty cool idea for today's adventure. The other day, I was looking through my old childhood bedroom, and I came across some of the books my mom used to read me at bedtime. One of my favorites was a book called Cinderella. Have you heard of it? You have? Awesome! I hope you like it, because for today's adventure, I have the idea of doing a storybook ballet, where we jump into the book and dance out Cinderella's story. What do you say? Oh, you will join me? Awesome. All right, dancers, let's get seated on our bottoms so we can charge up our slippers so we have enough magic to dive into Cinderella's story. Oh, All right, yeah. dancers, let's stretch those feet out in front of us. Tall ballerina backs to the tip of the ballet bun. Stretching those knees. All right, can we flex one foot? And then we switch, flex the other. Good, let's do it again. Good, now can we go as fast as we can go? Go, 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 oh my gosh! All right, now I wanna point both feet. Good, now flex. Awesome dancers, now let's circle those toes out. And reverse, other way. Looks like our slippers are all charged up and ready to go. All right, dancers, let's get seated right on those bottoms. Put our hands on those ankles, toes together, and we begin to close our eyes. We start to flap those wings as we think about our adventure. Looks like we made it, dancers. And I think we're in Cinderella's bedroom. That must be the wicked stepsisters. Let's hide. I don't want them to see us. Oh, no. Did you know that Cinderella lives in this small little village? But sadly, her dad passed away and now she's left living with a wicked stepmother and her wicked stepsisters. And instead of treating her like part of the family, they treat her like a servant. She's gotta wash the floor, sweep the dust, dust the dressers, make them food. It's very sad. I wonder who's that at the door. Let's quickly tiptoe on downstairs. Point your toes. Open the door. It's an invitation. We reach over to pick it up. It reads, every young eligible woman is invited to the palace for a ball hosted by the prince. Oh my goodness. But before Cinderella could get excited, her wicked stepsister snatched it out of her hands and said that she would not be attending. Cinderella went opposite of a proud ballerina. She sulked forward, shoulders rolled over, and she slowly walked back up to her bedroom. And she just sighed. But then, all of a sudden, a ton of wind rushed through her bedroom and lots of Sparkles came about. Let's run like the wind, dancers. Another way. And appeared a big 
fairy godmother? Ah! So cool. The fairy godmother was holding a magic wand. And she started turning different objects into magnificent items. All right, dancers, let's take out our own magic wands. Ready? And join me in turning the pumpkin into a carriage, the mice into horses, and last but not least, we give it three taps. One, two, three, and all of a sudden, we turn. Look, dancers, we have a beautiful gown on, and we're wearing a tiara. I'm so excited. But before we head to the ball, a fairy godmother has said that we need to be home by midnight because that is when all the magic disappears. I think we can do it. All right, let's pot a shot into our carriage. Plie, pot a shot. And the horses begin to gallop. Gallop and gallop and gallop. And they go the other way. Gallop, point your toes. I see the castle. Let's get back into first position, plie, and we padasha out of the carriage. Good dancers. Now we lift up our skirts so that our dress does not get dirty. And we reach up onto our tippy toes and we walk up into the ball. Cinderella steps forward and immediately the prince in her lock eyes immediately they are drawn to one another and they begin to waltz. Now dancers, I'm going to quickly teach you what it means to waltz. Can you count to three? One, two, three. Good. Well then you can waltz. So first, practice counting to three with me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome. Now let's add a little arm movement to help really bring in the essence of a waltz. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now just clap with me. Awesome. So now you have the beat of a waltz. Let's just put our hands on our hips to practice first. We step down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So now let's take that rocking step. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two Three. Awesome. Let's grab onto our partners. Ready? Down, up, up, down, up, down. Good dancers. And as you become more familiar with the step, you can add a turn. Awesome. Cinderella and the prince continue to do a waltz together as they fall deeper and deeper in love as the night goes on. But suddenly, the clock strikes midnight like so. The two hands go together. Cinderella immediately runs out. Oh no! She notices that her slipper has been left behind, but she doesn't have enough time. We keep running. I gotta go home. I gotta get home before my wicked stepsisters do. We made it. We open our bedroom door. What a lovely night. Let's sit down, dancers, and go to sleep. Was that the doorbell? Oh, I wonder who it could be. 
Let's press our ears to the door. It's the prince! But, but he can't see me like this. Let's see what he wants. He's looking for the mysterious girl from last night. That girl is... Oh, but he won't recognize me. Yesterday I was all done up with a crown and a beautiful gown. No, but it was fun, wasn't it? Do you remember how we waltzed back and forth? Oh, it was so fun. Let's take another here. He's trying the slipper I left on my stepsisters. Let's just go down the stairs so we can get a closer look. Wait, no stops. We look over. My first stepsister is sitting down. All right, put the shoe on my foot, please! It didn't fit. That's because the shoe belongs to me. I think my other stepsister is about to try the shoe on. Let's take a look. Oh, that shoe is mine. I was dancing with you all night. Let me just try it on. See? It fits. Oh, no. Oh! Oh my goodness, the shoe didn't fit on either stepsister. I wonder what they're gonna do now. The prince steps forward. Is there any other maiden in this house? Reluctantly, my stepmother steps to the side and presents me. The prince looks at me and I look at the prince. I think he recognizes me. I step forward and I point my toe and my foot slides effortlessly into the glass slipper. The prince and I embrace. We're both so excited that we do five star jumps together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Isn't that awesome, dancers? Oh. I'm so happy for Cinderella. She finally got that happy ending. They ended up getting married and they ran a successful kingdom and everyone loved them because they were just so kind to everyone. And they always remembered where they came from. Now, one of my favorite things was watching Cinderella and the prince waltz together. So I thought we would learn a pas de deux. Now, a pas de deux is a step between two dancers. So, let's put one foot behind the other, and I just want you to dance with me. Ready? Prepare. And so, the tale of Cinderella spread throughout the land, not just as a story of a prince and a princess, but as a reminder of the power of kindness and the belief that dreams can come true no matter where you start in life. And in the kingdom, they all lived happily ever after. Awesome! All right. I think their tale is done. So I think it's time we head back on over to the dance studio. All right, dancers, let's get seated on our bottoms. Grabbing those ankles. Tall ballerina backs. We start to flap those wings, closing our eyes as we think of our dance studio. Looks like we made it home, dancers. I had so much fun on today's adventure. I hope you did too. All right, now we always end in the same way, and that is by dancing a reverence. A reverence is a dancer's way of thanking themselves, their teacher, and those around them. So let's all stand up. We start with one foot behind the other. Ready, prepare. Bring our arms up, we open, and we 
finish with a bow. Thank you so much, dancers. I had so much fun, and I cannot wait for more adventures with you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.